Hi there. In a few moments time, the video that you're watching is going to cut to a shot of me sitting on an armchair and explaining how me and Anna made the Changing Man video. And you are going to be bored by it. But I think it had to be done because um, there are a lot of comments from people who are just genuinely curious as to how we did it that I think might be worth explaining. And the reason that I have recorded this separate intro is because the original intro bored me so much that I had to take it back off YouTube and whack this on. So uh, you have been warned. Hello, I'm Tom Hughes, and that's enough of that. I just thought I'd make a video about how me and Anna actually made the uh, Changing Man video. This one here. So first off, by today's computing standards, I am something of a Luddite. I'd never heard of After Effects until very recently, and uh, I'd only heard the word rotoscoping for the first time a couple of weeks ago. I'm also not great at green screen. Anyway, if you're about as computer literate as me, then how you think we did the video is probably how we did it. So, um, last year, me and Anna shaved our heads for charity. You can see that here if you want. And the, that weekend when we were both bald, I, uh, I thought that there must be some way that we can take advantage, like an artistic advantage over this rare situation. So we went and got some proper lighting, and we got uh, a couple of chairs and a white backdrop, which was actually a, a, a window blind from Pound Stretchers. Then we moved my bedroom around to my cottage uh, to create a permanent space, a wall where we could uh, set up and we uh, we filled with lights and height and distance of camera until we got it looking the way we wanted. Tuesday the 11th of August 2015 and this is take one for The Changing Man. And then after this uh, every day we'd sit in front of the camera for anything up to about half an hour and uh, we'd talk about our day. Anna just had her interview, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> and we'd um, sometimes talk about world events. Last week they discovered water on Mars, or the week before. Yeah. Really? And then after we'd done the talking, we would sing a section of the song. Why don't spiders use their webs? Were well, you were right, I thought you were laughing. <laughs> I feel like I have a slight smack on my face. Yeah, I'm me. Go. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't actually sing the whole song. We. We knew roughly where we were, you know, based on what month it was, we knew where we were within the song. So we'd sing anywhere between 10 seconds to a minute of the song. Um, in truth, we actually wrote the song as we went along, uh, which probably explains why it ended up being such an unusual track. Anyway, we generally do this about twice a day, uh, 180 seconds, 4 clips a second, that's 720 clips. 365 days, roughly two a day. Uh, sometimes if we were in a rush, we'd, we'd only be able to do one. No time to talk, no memory. But we'd make up for it by you know, doing three the next time, or four. The most we ever did was, I think, eight, right near the end, just in case. We weren't um, totally accurate with our guesses as to where we were with the song at any point in time, um, which is why some very observant people might notice that the video version of the song and the album version of the song are slightly different. But yeah. So for editing, I would import the clips and then I'd pick the appropriate quarter second segment from each. And then I'd paste this into uh, another window, just over a skeletal structure of the song, like a cheesy guitar mocker. And I'd, I'd make sure that it was timed perfectly by just lengthening the clip and making sure the singing ran over the song. And then cutting it back down to the the 0.25 seconds that I needed from that clip. And once I'd done that, I'd move on to the next clip. That's it. Conceptually, I knew that that would work over a long period of time. And um, a few months in, when we first saw our uh, mouths moving smoothly over the jumpy background, it was like magic. But we kind of knew that, you know, logically that was supposed to happen, but we were still amazed at how smooth the mouth movement looked. And um, the only other editing I did after this, and this is what probably took the most time, was cropping and processing each clip so that it looked as similar as possible to the uh, previous clip. So I, I, I'd move back and forth between 
one clip and the previous clip just to make sure that our faces, our features were as close as possible within the frame. And, um, some of the clips were a lot more red or blue than the previous clip, um, so I corrected that too. I probably could have avoided this by uh, paying more attention to the camcorder settings while we were filming, but Luddite. And I think that you can tell that there's a point where I got more comfortable with this process because at the beginning um, of the video the colours fluctuate a bit more than they do towards the end. There's a point where it seems to just balance off. The most complicated part of getting the frames right were the bits where we were moving our hands and heads about. It wasn't so hard with the timing because I could just slow down the playback of the footage to get the precision. The hardest thing was editing the clips in which we didn't move at exactly the same time. And this happened occasionally, obviously. So what I did was I made sure that my movements were the ones that lined up with the music and uh, edited that first. And then I would I'd cut Anna out of the frame and then underneath it I'd run the same clip and edit it so that Anna was in time with the clips and the music so that you could see her through the imaginary hole in the clip containing me, if that makes sense. And um, I like to think that these are quite unnoticeable in the, uh, in the final product. I don't actually know which ones. Um, I did that too. So uh, that's what I had to do to about 720 give or take clips. It was a tedious, ambitious, but quite simple concept really, but it took ages. It was quite irrational and it was inconvenient. Uh, it was actually filmed in four different locations. Um, we would have to move all the gear, the, uh, the 70 odd miles between mine and Anna's houses, depending on where we were going to be in the week. Um, one time I drove uh, 45 miles from Ruaben to Liverpool just to get the shot because Anna was in Liverpool. We are in Liverpool. <laughs> See? There's the umbrellas there. There's Anna. <laughs> Um, and uh, we couldn't really ever go anywhere for more than two days because we'd have to get it in the morning one day and then later the next evening. Um, but we did break that rule uh, one week when we went to Centre Parks on holiday. But we actually booked, uh, um, we had an extra room in the cabin. So we moved the furniture around and we actually um, set everything up in there and managed to film in there. So that was good. <clears throat> and that's, that's why I've made this video. It's just to. Uh, kind of explain that it's uh, it's much more raw than uh, some people might think. There aren't really any tricks, it's, it's what you see is what you get with it really. I've got a massive year-long video diary that I've edited from the project as well, which uh, is a bit of an emotional roller coaster to watch back. Um, and I've also got a, a version of the video with the original sound clips from the, from the original clips. <laughs> interesting, don't really know what to do with those, I'm um, just kind of keeping it for myself. And these kind of prove that like, this is how we did it and it's a video that we really love and a song that we really love. Aesthetically it's pretty cool, um, but to us and hopefully a lot of other people who see it, it means a lot more than that. It's a, it's a song about identity and belonging and it's a video about commitment and time. The end. <laughs> Seriously though. If you've got this far, thanks for watching. Thank you as well for the lovely comments and the surge in views, like, insane. God, why do I come across as so pretentious and unfriendly?